Hey there everyone, thanks so much for tuning in to my channel. This is episode one of multiple episodes that are going to cover my 3,500 mile journey this uh, summer. It covers three weeks of motorcycle camping through the states of Washington, Idaho, Montana, and Wyoming. In episode one, I leave Vancouver, Washington. I ride along the Columbia River through the Dalles on into eastern Washington and the beautiful wheat production country there. The video ends up along the Magruder Corridor in the Sawtooth Mountains wilderness of Idaho. Motorcycle camping, adventure, thrills, spills, near misses, and the beauty of nature. That's all straight ahead in all these episodes, but let's get started right now. Up in the Zimbar Mountains because it is awesome. We're on the dirt now. Friday, August 12. I'm finally packed up, getting ready to head out. Be doing a bunch of slab uh, today over to Walla Walla, maybe as far as Lewiston, Idaho. Headed for the Wyoming BDR. Front tire is just about. Still good, but probably going to need to be changed out by the time I hit the tracks in Wyoming and definitely before I head back home. Yep, finished my lunch. Continuing along this nice little two lane road up above the gorge. Looking down on the Columbia River. One of those nice little things you don't expect when you head out on a trip, find a nice uh, little side road that weren't in your plans to begin with. Yeah, nice little twisties here. Harvesting the wheat. So it was a long day, rode about 250 miles, got a late start, it was about 11.30 when I left uh, my daughter's home in Vancouver, Washington area. Rode through the Dalles, the Columbia River Gorge, got some video coming through there, hot and dry as to be expected. Made it to Walla Walla, Washington, an expensive little hotel room here and gonna crash for the night. Should make it over into Montana. Not sure how far I'll get, but it, hopefully it'll be a lot cooler. So right now it's time to go night night. Well, it's day two, about 8 a.m. So headed over into Idaho, maybe Grangeville, possibly Elk City. We'll see. Let's get going. That's a nice, uh cool morning breeze is starting to pick up heading through the beautiful wheat bread basket of eastern Washington yeah it's so nice and uh, cool right now it won't stay that way long have to enjoy it while I can in the little town of Dayton, Washington. Let's go see what Chuck's all about this morning. <laughs> right here's fine. <laughs> oh, good. Big cup of coffee. Hmm. That looks good. Yeah, man. Joe needs coffee. Now we're off to a good start. A little windy. Keep saying that, but it is. Yeah. Where else but, uh, 
Dayton, Washington, are you going to get a watermelon with your breakfast uh, muffin? Excellent. Very cool old downtown. I'm uh, nostalgic for places like this. Here's two uh, relatives. I think this truck would probably like to travel with this motorcycle of mine. valley right here and this hillside is the uh, site of an ancient trail. It descends this hillside right here and crosses the creek. By those telephone poles you can see a worn trail up through there. Lewis and Clark were directed through this area. This was a trail that was uh, used for thousands of years, Indians trading through the region. And here I am on this motorcycle, traveling in modern times. Getting close to uh, Lewiston now. I think this is the uh, Clearwater River. We're entering uh, the state of Idaho. Welcome to historic Lewiston, Idaho. Yeah, I've been climbing up in some elevation now. Still headed towards Greensville. We're getting some trees, some evergreens showing on the hillsides. Way up there in that draw with the pine trees is a railroad trestle. And uh, it's running a tunnel through this entire hillside here. Up at about 4,000 foot elevation, really pleasant temperatures right now, a breeze mostly following me. The Nez Pierce Indians uh, Reservation I've just passed through. Saddle Company. Old Town Grangeville. Oh. I just got gas here in Grangeville. Had a little snack. I'm gonna head out of out of town up into Nimbar Mountains. Oh, the sign back there said steep winding road. This road leads into 50 miles out of Grangeville into Elk City. Elk City is really just a hamlet. And the road dead ends there. One of the most remote towns of any size that would have a post office in the United States. This is their only way uh, into goods and services, groceries, and it's a 50 mile run. So, winter time, you better be stocked up. Anyway, my kind of place, I stayed there and camped there uh, a couple of nights, a couple of years ago when I was doing the Idaho VDR. I'm not sure if I'm going to pull in there tonight or this evening. It's kind of early in the day. 
I will see. I'm going to get up closer to Elk City. Kind of hard to pass up, uh, you know, a hot shower, Wi-Fi, and uh, hot food. When they say steep winding road, they mean it. This uh, big old windshield, Madstad windshield, is great out on the highways, blocking the wind. Prefer it to be down out of the way. I know you guys probably are seeing it in the video a little too much, but when I get on real trails, I'll lower it down. Right now, I just got to pay attention. This big old bike is uh, pretty heavy. Got more of a load on it than I really like, and I just filled up with gas. It holds five gallons, so that's a bit of weight right there carrying that extra tire in the back. I've got some water I stocked up on. Ooh. Yeah. Getting scenic. Watch for frost on roadway. This, this goes into a dead end. South Fork Clearwater River. Elk City, 41 miles. Wow, beautiful. Just beautiful. Massive and beautiful. Yeah, what a great road. Great scenery. Just following this uh, stream. Wow. I hope you're getting this dimensions of this as I'm seeing it because it is awesome. City town site. Elk City was the first mining town in Idaho County. First miner saw a herd of at least 700 elk while camping on the hill east of present town site. Well it's about 3:45, and uh, Elk City is right up there just a few miles. I'm going to just push on up the road. I'm actually on what is also part of the Idaho backcountry discovery route right now. And I've been over this section two years ago, but I'm heading up to the Magruder Corridor. It's 125 miles to Darby, Montana. And there's nothing in between. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna look for a campground. 
the road is still paved for a ways and uh, it's narrow and lumpy. Yeah, the first uh, cloud buildups I've seen for a couple of days. It's nice to see things are pretty green. Been getting a lot more moisture this year. The fires are not prevalent. That's good. Getting deeper and deeper into the uh, Sawtooth Mountains. And uh, eventually I'm going to come to some dirt. We're on the dirt now, Magruder Corridor. Granite Springs Campground, 18 miles. Dry Saddle, 33. Darby, Montana, 113 miles. No services. All right, let's go. Well, it's washboard. Washboard, pea gravel, mixed in with a lot of silt. And that's what you have to look out for. This bike's heavy right now. And uh, front end wants to uh, wash out. Of course, the old DR just tractors along. Well, just past 14 mile campground, 12 miles to Poet Creek campground. That's where I'm hoping to stay. Didn't catch it on the camera, but about 10 minutes ago, I was riding at about 10 mile an hour. A white pickup truck came along. That was fine. He kind of slowed down and suddenly in front of me was a little mini bike and two quads being hauling ass down on my side of the road coming around the white pickup truck lickety split head on at me they were kids I came to a complete stop I'll tell you whoa some ruts you've got to be on your toes constantly out here sure like to be rid of this uh, extra weight on the back of my bike though. Oh, the air smells so sweet. Well, made it a few more miles to Granite Springs Campground primitive there's a privy here no water and uh, just as I decided to go by it and on up to another eight miles or seven to Poet Creek campground uh, front end started feeling well wobbly and got a flat front tire going flat so this is where I'm stopping for the night okay Got my work cut out. like a pinch flat heavy tube heavy tire
now all of that's done, maybe I can pause and enjoy a little bit of the scenery that's around me here. Tires on. I guess that made up the mind for me when to put that rear new tire on. Pinch flat. But now, tents up. Sun is setting. I might just eat some hot oatmeal or something. Not really feeling like fixing anything. Good night, everybody. See ya.